I felt like I didn't know the school at all for some reason. I, I don't like British accents. So. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold on. Okay. Wait, so I think Nikola Tesla married a pigeon. That's nice. a good marketing pitch. Our phones don't explode. <laughs> <laughs>
desks for the most part were distance. I feel like where issues kind of arose were in the hallways. Um, a lot of students were walking around with their masks below their nose or like they would just be like walking like like literally like linked arms with someone. And I don't know, I feel like also because the hallways are kind of like narrow, it is, and we have like a bigger school population, it's like hard to maintain like distancing. And I think a lot of students didn't really think about like how, they, I don't know, they like just didn't, yeah. <laughs> but it was more so in the hallways than the classrooms so that I feel like social distancing wasn't the best. Yeah, I agree too. Like if, if you're just walking around in the middle of the hallway, like it's so hard to not, stay six feet away from someone especially because it is a really like narrow hallway in the entire high school and um another thing i noticed was that like when you're walking around and with 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 your friends and stuff it's like so hard to not be engaged and so that's one of the things that was really hard and like restrictive have you ever had that feeling like at least me personally i haven't seen that many people in the last eight or so months right and so when I go out to like the grocery store once in a while it's just like always really stark and like almost scary I wouldn't say scary just really surprising to see so many people in one place so how do you guys like feel personally about being near all these people during this one I think I'm scared of people. I go outside and I see a person walking down the street and I'm like, I got to hold my breath. And then I think about it. I'm like, I'm outside. And then I'm like, shoot, like I'm scared of people now. God. Yeah, it, I think people are equally scared of you, Darren. Yeah, but, no. um, it's I an mean, intimidation thing. <laughs> I, I think like seeing people is one of the biggest reasons I opted for the half remote. Cause I don't know, I, like, I want a majority of my summer, like, not seeing anyone, and I was, like, literally going crazy. I don't know. I just really need to have, like, social interaction, so that's, like, the biggest reason I chose to do it, but it's still definitely, like, jarring, because it's, like, oh, like, this isn't how school social interaction should be, but, like, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how I felt, because, like, I, I can't go without being social for too long, or else I'll, like, go insane. And, like, what you said also makes sense, like, how we're in person, but it's not like we actually are. It's, like, the best thing, the, the closest thing I can compare it to is, like, trying to sneeze, but it's not coming out. It's, like, you're there with other people, but you're not actually interacting. <laughs> yeah, so, like, very <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, pretty much how it is. I'm not related, but I actually did have to sneeze in school one time. I was so scared to do it. So I was just kind of in the corner of my classroom, like, oh, asphyxiating myself. <laughs> yeah, like, do you ever, like, want to clear your throat and then you, like, don't want to because you think people will, like, stare at you? So then you just hold it. Is that something that happens? That, that's seriously. Yeah. COVID 2020. Well, the, the schedules this year, I'm still, like, really confused about. That's, like, I'm virtual and, like, I, I still don't know what's happening half the days. Like, it, it just changes so much that it's so crazy in my mind. It's hard to keep track. Yeah. Wait, so you're a freshman, right? So this is your first schedule for high school? This is my first. Right. Like, <laughs> God, yeah. it must be so good. So yeah, like, I I still haven't memorized half of it yet. Like, every morning I have to mm -hmm. go onto, like, Infinite Campus and check what I have today. Oh, okay. Like, like I'd, I might just be like incompetent but before my freshman year I went into the school maybe 12 times like 12 separate times to walk through my schedule so I can't imagine like being in your position and like first of all being confused by like the, how the scheduling actually works and at the same time trying to figure out like where your classes are like um, <laughs> it doesn't... yeah that, that that was definitely one of the hardest things like on the first day of school I was there and I was like I have no clue where I am and so, like, I would, I would ask, like, the nearest person every single, like, 10 feet where to go. And uh, that's pretty much how I worked my way through. And then by, like, the second week, I was, like, fully down. I know where all my classes are. Yeah. It's actually quite impressive. Um, I still get lost sometimes. So. Yeah. I remember, like, we're, like, in elementary school, they had, like, the ABCD rotation, like, they Junior high? <laughs> Well, in my opinion, they had, um, like, day one and then A, 
then 2A, then 3A, then 4A, then 5A, then 6A. Bro, then it went are, all or something. These are my repressed memories. I don't remember anything <laughs> from elementary but school. But it reminds me of that. I never, <laughs> through four years, I never got the hang of that whole system. We all walked in single file line, right? So it's like you just follow the person in front of you. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I just I guess put so. blind trust in them. Like, just yeah. Like, this might be a unless does anyone else have anything about school because i'm about to change the topic very suddenly <laughs> we were talking about how like you want that social interaction right so people who are half virtual what's it called hybrid you get that social interaction sort of when you go to school and you get to talk to people sometimes i think is what you said for us virtual people we have to keep in touch through calling people and i think one of the reasons among us is so popular right now for just at least our group of friends, it's like we can talk to each other with with an excuse to talk to each other. <laughs> it's like you get to 10 people, 10 people, you get to talk to 10 people for a limited amount of time. Yeah, that, that, that must be like terrible for you guys. Like, what'd you say, Surat? You haven't met, like, talked to anyone in eight months in person? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, like, has I haven't not seen my friends eight in eight months. months. No, 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 that's not what I meant. I meant like had like an actual interaction outside of his house. Like, yeah, basically. We were joking about that. I was like, "Can I run over to your house, Siro? Because you only live like what a, mile, a couple miles away." I was like, sh "I should run over there, wave, and then run back." <laughs> the extent of. You guys play Among Us. Have you guys played before? I play Among Us. Yeah. Sometimes, like so. Well, I don't really play that often, but like I play when I'm on Xbox with my friends, like in party chat, and then and then like when we're bored of one game, where it's like, "All right, who wants to play Among Us?" I'm like, "All right, whatever." Play. It's like yeah. it's a interesting game. You get to pull a lot of people together rather than the traditional. Like, we played it in my Spanish class once, actually. Really? Yeah. Was it the GameKit version or just actual Among Us? Actual Among Us. Our Spanish teacher pulled up this GameKit version of Among Us that isn't Among Us, <laughs> but like everything's themed around Among Us, so it's like not actually the game. But, like, it's so weird. I mean, at, at least she tried, right? She That's tried. all these teachers were trying. Mm -hmm. I hope she doesn't watch this. If you're watching this, it was, it was fine. It was a good, it was a good day. Change Darren's class to not playing Fake Among Us into Real Among Us. We should play Real Among Us. The problem is we don't actually learn anything. <laughs> I mean, you learn how to lie, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's Why don't you just only speak Spanish in the lobby? Like, how? you can only call it, like, only in Spanish. How do you or just call out their colors, like, Yo creo, Rojo. Yo um, creo I don't know any other es Spanish. Verde. Was that good? I don't know. <laughs> Yo pienso que tu no dice el A lot of verbs in there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ms. D'Angelo. I don't have that speaking. Mm -hmm. So, Next time, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Next on. How in control of your life do you really feel, though? Like, with everything going on right now? You just, like, you, you get pulled along, or? I mean, it's not really us controlling our lives. It's just working around the controls, like, with social distancing, like, not being able to go anywhere. And, like, I don't know. It's just really different. I, like, I don't really feel like I'm in charge of what I'm doing. I'm just doing what I have to do to not go insane in my own house. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, dude. <laughs> Same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, time has, like, bent for me to the point where mm -hmm. a week, so like, feels so long but so yeah. short at the same time. Yeah. Where that events that happened last week feel like they happened a month ago. And then events that happened yesterday feel like they happened, like, wait, that's not right. Events that happened, like, a month ago feel like they happened yesterday. Especially with the full virtual, like, the virtual full day. Every day feels like, yeah. like, roughly 30 hours. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, like, I have no, like, I don't, yeah. I have no <laughs> concentration at all. After my third class in the morning, I'm like, I don't even care anymore. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, just yeah. class after class after class. God, <laughs> yeah, so much school. <laughs> I mean, 
work over technically the hours are the same right mm -hmm. it's just like it just feels, feels long. longer because you're there from eight to four well, I know some people who, like, because right now they moved the middle, like, hours, and then they just smacked it onto the end, and then that's that's the school day now. I know some people who, like, as soon as they got home at, like, 2.30, or, like, 3 or whatever, they just crash and sleep. So then their bodies are, like, adapted to the point where when it gets to that time, they're just, like, like dizzy for the rest of the day. They're, like, not there. I think, like, for me, another big thing that contributes, like, being so tired, by the time we get out of school, it's, like, dark. I feel like I have some like deep like hunter and gatherer instinct to just fall asleep the second that the sun sets. So like whenever like we at least when it's dark and I'm like so. It fading. makes me so sad. I know. Like when it's so dark. Yeah, and like it comp I don't know, but I don't know for you guys, but for me, like the entire quarantine thing with school, like hybrid and stuff, it completely changed my sleep schedule. Like last year, there was no way I'd be sleeping at like twelve or one and waking up at like eight. Like, I'd be going to bed at, like, 10 and waking up at 6 every morning. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Uh, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Okay. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, I'd rather not throw. talk about my sleep schedule. Oh, <laughs> Thoreau, what's your sleep schedule? Because oh, I don't know I, if it's my friend group, but they have the worst sleep schedules. Oh, out of my any friend of group, too. Yeah. I, I've been trying. Okay, I've been trying. Last what, night, what did I you fall? Okay. Last night, I fell asleep at, like, 1, and then I woke up at five because i had completely forgotten about the ap i'm like i'm sorry mrs facility so then i did it from like i did it wait like, that was due like, today wait hold on that was due at 3 45. you did the entire thing today i woke up at five and then i did it until my first class and then i got out of my last class because i had the half day and then i just did it until like well i mean i got it in on time so yeah yeah that's all that matters but I'm sorry, Mrs. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> AP my mom is confused because I barely have any homework for any other class and then AP just takes up every single living moment I have wait which AP class uh AP, AP social it, what is it world oh. history that's how it's called yes. world history yep that's the one I'm taking right now too oh good luck excited. it is hard <laughs> I mean, it's a fun class. I like the class. No, really. You know, it's like you did the SAQ in your year, and then it evolves into the DVQ. In the it's like an it's like an advanced version, which is not that much advanced. They just slap pictures on everything. I feel like I don't know. The progression seems like scary, like, but like once you actually get there, it's like not that scary. I don't know. Like I know Mrs. Ryan definitely hypes up like the 10th grade year she kind of scares you about it a bit but it's not as scary as she like, makes it up yeah that's what i'm kind of worried about next year it'll be fine yeah it's too early to be worrying about next year <laughs> so we're, yeah that's that's true but we're not dead yet so it shows that that's we won't cool. die that's what matters right so mm -hmm. sometimes i call you and i wonder if you are dead <laughs> <laughs> okay. before we start the next session how many of us are actually doing a sport in school no no well, okay, I so we're not doing that. Maybe we should do soccer, but I don't know. I just decided not to. Not to. And if we have a ski club, maybe I'll do that. And hopefully lacrosse and virtual uh, skiing. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just do the arm movement. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> the <room. laughs> no, I'm saying hopefully if like we're all good by then, and we can actually I don't know maybe go to I don't know which mountain it is for Shaker. Oh. The big one. I forget what it's called. No, I'm the one with the snow. The, you know, the one with, yeah. <laughs> the one where you can ski on, though. Yeah, the, the one with the ski lift, you know, it brings you up there. <laughs> the trees, okay. And Moving there's on. the people with the jackets. Yeah, they have jackets. <laughs> and then there's always that one person who's, who's wearing, like, almost nothing, just like a tank top, and you wonder what, how they're not dead. Transition, talking about school and then being like all right let's talk about politics no no, no. I, I have a let's if this is like improv we gotta come up with a transition <laughs> okay so from school you know how school i don't know where i'm going with this the school has a bunch of people and we have a leader 
of the class and that leader doesn't get elected but you know what does get elected a president let's oh, talk great about great job there, right there. <laughs> <Round Nice. of laughs> Why don't we just bring up the poll we did? Because yeah. that's like our club. Oh, yeah. Actually, no, I like. No, I, mean, I, had quite, I had quite. I had quite the hoop reading them. Quite the hoop. Quite. I'm sorry, really. is that word. Quite. <laughs> do you like? Quite, quite the word? hoot. <laughs> you know. <laughs> remember in the uh, 19th century when you said that? Remember that? Okay. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. I mean. Um, Shoot, we have to be as okay. Wait, this is an opinion based podcast, but I don't want to get my house burned down because <laughs> of something I said. So, I think we should try and stay neutral as much as possible. neutral things, probably because politics, <laughs> especially here, is very sensitive. It's like a minefield. <laughs> well, wait, who has the poll pulled up? We could just read numbers out and then. Oh uh, my god. Like, One of my favorite answers was someone saying that we should abolish the popular vote. Like, yeah, against against the popular vote. <laughs> we don't need to know about that, okay? <laughs> oh Not god. important. The the shaker population know who like what they voted on? Or like um they're, they're Well, when Samita's article comes out, yeah. When whose? Samita's when oh. her article comes out. I think this podcast will take a while to come out. So it'll probably be Savita's article first. They read that. Actually, PSA, you read that article now. Click off of the podcast, go read that, and then come back on uh, shakerbison.com. The shakerbison.com. I think maybe we should discuss. Um, so I'm looking at it right now. It's, the question was which qualities are most important to you in a candidate? And with a 100 with a 59 percent a much choice okay 59 percent of people chose leadership as the most important quality and 0.4 percent of people chose decency listens to the people uh homophobic anti-racist oh no anti-racist anti-homophobic okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, god whoa oh my god <laughs> That's weird. I don't remember that being on it. Um, anti-racist, anti-homophobic, <laughs> self- selflessness, actions, and uh, experience in the past, and honesty. That was what the least percent. Okay. In my opinion, honesty is important. But for politicians, every word that comes out of their mouth is a lie. Yeah. Therefore, I don't know if it's fair to put that on. <laughs> honesty is really exist in mm-hmm. politics because you a lot of to- people have talked to kind of say like yeah um their per like their demeanor in the public is important but they rather would side with uh, policy over like publicity mm-hmm. like what the person's what, like what, what are their actual actions in office regardless of what they say against other people like what are they actually doing what are they actually putting on <clears throat> yeah okay so we can st- Trump exists. He's a person. He's has he given up the. Do I don't think so. Either. Yeah, so he has he given up. He's the, waiting for the electoral college to confirm who wins, and then he'll give up. Is he the president still, or is he's he still like? President. Yeah, he's until January. Still the president. Okay. Until okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I I don't know because I was doing research from my electoral college um, article. And it said something about how, like, all, like, contestants of, like, the um, vote, they have to be, like, done by December 8th. It's, so, like, no more, like, hissy fits after, like, December 8th, basically. So I feel like, I don't know, that's coming up. So I don't know what is what significance that really has, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, this podcast is being recorded on the 4th. It might come out later, so I don't know mm-hmm. when people are going to watch this. I don't know. I yeah, okay, so what are, he's done stuff, but I feel like a lot of what people think about him, I don't, this is me personally, I don't actually know exactly what he's done. I, just like every other president, <laughs> just like, I, I'm really bad at politics, I should know more about it, but I mostly know him from how uh, the main media channels for, uh, like will portray him and what he says on Twitter. First of all, his Twitter... 
whoever runs like whoever's like in charge of Trump, like they should not give him a Twitter <laughs> no account. No one's in charge of Trump. No one should <laughs> give him a Twitter account. Who gave this man a? Yeah. I mean, technically, when you think about it, it is a good way to reach people quickly. And like, yeah, no, it is. That's and the I mean, problem. We got, for him. We got amazing <laughs> tweets like, "I've never seen a skinny person drinking diet coke." <laughs> I feel like we can't, we can't. We if he was a YouTuber, I would like subscribe, and click the like icon, but he's our president and I'm like, I hesitate. <laughs> I'm like, God, should we be supporting this? <laughs> I mean, yes. Yes, yes, like we should be supporting this. Like all presidents. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> he has done like bad things as well. Or he said a lot of bad things, I guess. But in act, like, the stuff he's actually put into action. Uh, he's done know. good things and bad things. So we'll look, cover that, okay? No matter what the media says, he's done some good things. It's impossible I, for someone to go into office and not do a single good thing. I, I think, think the that's... thing with Trump is that he cares way too much about how the media perceives him. Like, regardless of the presidency, like, media is going to say something about you. And I think he looks at his presidency more so in the way it's perceived by the media rather than the actions he's actually taken by, like, the office. Like, he almost takes everything so personally, I mean, even when it's, like, like any president is going to get that amount of, like, He kind of has to now, because, like, what Darren was saying earlier, with, with people who don't pay attention to politics, like, like you were saying, most of the information you get from a certain president comes from the main media. Yeah. And so the media can really influence an entire election. And that's why, mm-hmm. that's one of the reasons why the electoral <clears throat> college was put into place as well. Wait, is it just me or like in the last few years, my main media source, like uh, it, it's been like those late night talk shows and their monologues. <laughs> like Trevor Noah. That's been my way to keep up with a lot of the presidential news and stuff. I find and a lot of like uh, American just like news outlets, I, all of them are biased. But some somewhat like you can point to a news channel and say they're biased. A lot of late night shows, yeah, yeah, they definitely. gotta, they are definitely biased. It's so really hard I, to be unbiased, right? It is. You're always but, gonna have some prior. Yeah, it's. I, I watch British BBC. Let's <laughs> just. You go to a different country and you see their viewpoint, and it's. I feel like it's pretty. As unbiased as I would like my news sources to be. I don't watch it that often, though, because I, uh... No, I, not... I don't like British accents. So. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold on. Okay, Wait, switching off the election, you don't like British that. accents? <laughs> no, that's why I, um, I don't watch, like, your... I don't know. If you'd like to give me some British news recommendations, maybe I'd give it give it a chance. Wait, what do you not like? <laughs> yeah, like, so hold on. Unique. British accent? Okay. <laughs> What? I don't British know. accents are so cool, okay? They're suave. <laughs> suave? Um, no, is that the word? <laughs> I feel like it's like a less interesting Australian accent. Can you like, understand I know what you person? mean. I know what you mean. Because you know? like Australian accents are like, they always sound so energetic, like even when like it's not. And like um, the English accents are just like super, super formal. And so they you feel can- like the color gray. Yeah. Like when I hear like a British person, see, I just see gray. Okay. Just, I, I really. <laughs> I really <laughs> no, Australian okay. accents have like that culture behind it, right? Yeah. yeah no, like uh, <laughs> colonialism. And. <laughs> 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 Sorry. That's what we're learning at AP. I got to bring that up. Okay. So I think the thing about Australian people is that they were British people and then they, they live in Australia. Which is like it's the country's trying to kill you from every corner, and they have so much adrenaline in their bot <laughs> system that everything they say comes out like ten times hopped up than it should be, and that's the Australian accent. <laughs> that's a good it's take. Like, it's like the English accent, if it was okay. It's like the okay. So you know how in America we have so that we have like a southern accent. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> The Australian accent is like the southern accent of the English accent, if that makes sense. That, that oh, like a sense. dialect? Yeah. Okay, kind of. wait, hold on. I don't that, think I can. You should give a demonstration. Okay. Uh, no. Southern accent. Okay. <laughs> Do a southern accent. The class. viewers want to see a southern accent. <laughs> no. Danny's demonstration. Come on, this is a new segment of our podcast. <laughs> it's Danny does accents. <laughs> 
Nope, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> you well, can even you. brand it. Danny does da accents, <laughs> which da. looks like. I'm sure okay. the Shaker population wants to see a little Arab boy give Southern impersonations. Yeah. Okay, wait. Next topic. How many? What do you guys use to entertain yourself through mm-hmm. this quarantine? Like, what was your main source of media? For me, it was like live streaming and stuff like that. Watching. Oh. Uh, which games are all? Watching games, any game, Minecraft, Ooh. Among Us. Ooh. Name a name, Sorrow. I know which one you're gonna. Name say. a name. name Come on, you gotta, you gotta you say the biggest of them all. Right? You're right. <laughs> Never mind. Moving on. I'm okay. going last. Someone else's. Um, I'll go. Yep. I, I mainly like watch Netflix and played Xbox pretty much, and like sometimes I would, um, I'll go outside and like work out or something like run i guess that's pretty much all you can do. oh my god that's quite literally everything you can do mm. or homework that's it that's not entertainment Is that <laughs> fun? i'm so excited to do my algebra homework oh I don't god know. I, can't, I can't wait <laughs> I, don't, I just kind of listen to like i don't know i listen to a lot of music oh yeah that's you. A lot. oh did you get your spotify rap thing Wait, I have Apple Music, so I literally feel like so alienated. I've you know never you felt. <laughs> you, can, you can go. I don't really use Spotify that much. So you can look up Apple Music Replay. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I did, but I don't know. I feel like my top artists are like really worked from quarantine. I don't because I don't know. I was listening to a lot more music then, and I was listening to not very good music. So now that's at the top, and like I can't. It, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I have like, I'm pretty sure it was 48 hours I have listened to Kanye West, and like, oh, he was my t- third, top, third, top third, top. Yeah. Third. He was top in my top three. Top <laughs> he, that's that's the phrase. No, I yep. Like, <laughs> Kanye West and like Drake, and then like, I don't know, I forgot who else. Yeah, you know those people who like listen to classical music and because they listen to classical music they think they're superior to everyone else who listens yeah. to so, so you I'm so one of those people <laughs> those are like gatekeepers of music i am that I, gatekeeper. I think you're gonna and over and play are, his ego a little bit too much i am the man like in the, the black, black that's like the black coffee drinkers of music fans yeah you know? like yeah. <laughs> Because, like, I've never listened to a single Kanye West song in my entire life. That is not on purpose. I've just never gotten the chance to search them up. And then as a result, I assume it's terrible. Because I've never listened to it. Obviously, it must be bad. So Talking about him is very controversial. Because, like, as a person, I don't quite, like, I'm not, like, I'm not, I don't admire him. But, like, he's good at making songs sometimes. So, okay. Isn't separating the art well yeah <laughs> i said well yeah but i'm not a terrible person who does good things unintentionally sometimes <laughs> <laughs> i mean talking about him himself like he kind of has like a very unpredictable personality like if if, you, if any of you guys have watched a lot of um, he was on the joe rogan podcast i think like a month ago and like when he's talking it's just like he talks and then like he doesn't even finish a sentence he talked about another thing he did for two hours and i'm like wow this man is like he has a lot of thoughts racing through his head and like when it comes to music making i think he's really good at it personally that's my that might help him right all these different no, all like, these different things coming into his head you yeah. know it's like that thing that's like all like the geniuses are like crazy like yeah. you know no that's what he said he said um uh i think i think he said something like that he said like no genius no, he said. No, he said. Name a genius that isn't crazy. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a- everyone who does something important, like game changing in history, is always dies a tragic death or like has mm-hmm. some kind of like brain damage. Mozart, mental illness. Mental illness, or they die early. So like Mozart died early, I think. Right. He died at a young age. Uh, Beethoven went deaf. Uh, I'm naming classical composers. Someone else say someone else. <laughs> I think Nikola Tesla married a pigeon. Yeah, he did. Oh, I think I Poe died in a ditch or something. That man was super smart, though. That man was like extremely smart. Wait, I thought you were joking. He married a pigeon? <laughs> no, no, he no. That I'm very serious about that. I do think he married a pigeon. 
Um, like I think, I well, I mean, he, of course, he didn't legally marry the pigeon. This wasn't like a binding contract, but he had like a real. I don't know. He was just really deeply connected to it. He said, okay, I looked it up. He said he never. No, he never actually married, but he admitted to falling in love with a very special white pigeon that visited him regularly. It's like the B movie, right? No, stop, stop. No, it's not like the movie, actually. What a t- that, that's a bad transition. Okay. Oh my god, Tesla, that's such a good transition, car- Sorrel. Oh my gosh, yeah. Car company, Speaking about tech. technology. What's the coolest thing you've seen so far for the holidays? PS5 and Xbox. The oh, which yeah, one? That's good. Probably is, is the PS5 like really uh, hard to get your hands on? I know like the new graphics are good. To get your hands yeah, on. Yeah, everything's Both just... Really limited supply. Which one's the one that looks like a like a reverse colored vampire? A Wi-Fi router. Reverse. Wi-Fi router. Which one's the one with the weird collar thing? <laughs> That's what the PS Five looks PS5. like. They call it the Wi-Fi router. Okay, so it's PS Five. Okay. And the so PS Five is out. Refrigerator. I think this is just my personal opinion. I've never bought a console, but like, if I was gonna buy one this year, it would just be the one with Spider Man. That's, I think it was PS5. PS5, it will just be the one with Spider-Man. I, <laughs> I, I just play Animal Crossing on my Nintendo Switch. I really have no idea what no, goes on no. outside of that. <laughs> I just, um... What is Animal Crossing? You should explain. I don't get it. Oh my god. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> okay, so I actually did not like the new game that much. I should write a scathing, but I do still play all the time. It's just like so you're like a human and you're in like a little village with these adorable animals i yep and then you're in my favorite animal crossing game was new leaf and you're like the mayor i had that on my 3ds but in this one you're like for some reason you're like on an abandoned island and you have to make it not abandoned and it's so stressful and i just i can't handle it <laughs> yeah i don't know if i look at those little characters and think yeah. dress oh my god uh, upon first hold on <laughs> wait like usually okay so my impression of animal crossing is like i would think it's too boring <laughs> just um absolutely what do you, not what do you I, do okay so you're I, on the island now you can fish i know that yes it's uh you can fish you can build a house you can decorate the house much like much like in real life animal crossing like the whole point is just like pay off your like crippling debt so that's just basically (laughs) what you do but to do it it's so fun you like pick flowers and you cut trees and make things wait so it's kind of like minecraft without the minecraft without the building and this one the other day oh yeah wait that's the guy who like extorts money yeah, yeah, he, you bought, oh my god, you don't even ask for a house, like, he gives you, like, a tent, and he's, like, 4,000 bells, and it's, I, like, didn't, I don't like it, anyway, continue, guys. But you have to pay it off, is that the game? Yeah, you're, the game is, like, paying off your debts. Does he add interest on it, like, at, over time, like, if you, like, go too long, it just doubles? No, I think you should email Nintendo about that. I yeah, think no, that's that should be the plot point, you have to finish the game in, like, a year. And yeah, and then you we'll mom. add like student loans, healthcare, all that. <laughs> I'm in real life. I don't want to go into the escapist reality where I go back into real life. <laughs> the game should just be retitled Med School, the game. <laughs> Become a doctor, the game. <laughs> Bring back you don't even get to operate. The final battle is like the MCAT. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, was that technology? That was more gaming. <laughs> what was I going to talk about? Okay, um, let's see. I know, bro, you said something about, like, the Apple wheels. I still don't know what those are. What oh. are, like, the wheels? Apple wheels. <laughs> Siro, you talk about those. You, you know how there's, like, a desktop computer, right? Like, yeah. one of those big boxes that you, you get? And yeah. so Apple, they are really smart, right? They're really the biggest <laughs> company, second biggest company in the world by market value. And they make this computer called the Mac Pro. And it's, it looks like a cheese grater, right? And it sells for upwards of $10,000. It starts at $10,000, right? And it's for like these big box um, video production, all this. 
like the big budget things, right? So you know what they do? They sell seven hundred dollars for little castaways, like the ones you see on my chair, like they roll around on. Seven hundred dollars for little wheels. Is that worth? Is that? <laughs> So you have like a machine that fits underneath your desk that's worth a car, and then they sold wheels. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm just respect that was like these wheels have to be equally expensive. And every person who unboxed it on YouTube, they were like, "Yeah, these are nice wheels." <laughs> they're like, "Yeah, these are very well made. They're nice wheels." <laughs> like they're crying. Watching. Like, these like are they're nice just wheels. moving the wheel. They're, oh yeah, this is a nice <laughs> wheel. Yeah, this is good wheels. Yeah, like I they've been rocking themselves dollars. back and forth like I made a good purchase. I bought good wheels, <laughs> right? These are good wheels. This is buyer's remorse, and they're just trying to convince them they didn't do it. <laughs> but like, it's more of like a premium kind of branding kind of thing. Like mm. they're that premium brand, right? Apple. So they kind of like. like that. Are the wheels branded like Apple? Like, is the Apple logo on the wheels, or is it? I think they're just Chrome. Yeah, no, <laughs> they're not. When you see them, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and also they made a thousand dollar monitor stand, right? A little oh, yeah. block of metal that is a thousand dollars. So oh, I guess dude. the rich live that rich life, right? Yeah. I cannot <laughs> afford a thousand dollars. That was actually kind of more stupid than the wheels. Like the wheels, no, well, no, the wheels are smaller and cost seven hundred dollars. The wheels moved, okay. The stand was just a hunk of metal. I don't know. It didn't do anything else. It was just a giant, like, was it aluminum? <laughs> I think it was just a giant hunk of aluminum. It was great. What a time to be alive. Why? <laughs> it needed wheels. In the, uh, was it a desktop you said? That yeah. The why, does a de why does a desktop need wheels? Exactly. I don't get that. You don't exactly move exactly up <laughs> along with you. Um, on like a leash, that makes sense. But how often do you have to roll a desktop? No, the wheels don't like they're not like motorized either, and they don't stop. I don't think, right? <laughs> you continuously roll once you put them on. Oh my god, what is the point? This, of it's like, Why would you want a ten thousand dollar machine on wheels where it can just roll down a road, roll down a hill? Maybe that's what rich people do now. They race their forty dollars, like <laughs> the cars, the forty dollars computers, and they just roll them down slopes. Yeah, that's Apple for you, twenty twenty edition. These are the innovations we need in twenty twenty. I've learned so much. <laughs> it's so weird looking back at like old like reveals of like technology, and they're like, and like I don't know if you watch like the old like Apple. You know when they do like those big reveal things and there's like a big screen and they're like yeah. look at this phone and then the old ones are like look at this brick it has a screen and everyone yeah. in the audience is like tearing up <laughs> so you mean like so, do you mean like the, the keynotes whatever they're called yeah That's when they cool. show the things yeah i like the parody video yeah <laughs> those are fun. Yeah, the old phones were like two bricks and then the next year would be one brick and then it would be half a brick and then it's just and like, now it's like <laughs> And now it's like you buy the brick and the screen separately. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing they're not know. even shipping like the little the charging brick anymore. Yeah, wait, they switched what? to uh, a different port. Did they switch to USB C or something? And then they're like, no, it's still, no they didn't. It's still, they're still. They don't. Light. You know that little white brick? They don't yeah. Ship wait, like, like yeah, this. No, like, hold on. Give me my brick like this. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No so more. What were you saying, game? You gotta buy it separately. That's so dumb. Because you know, when you buy it, you... they'll be worth thousands on day. You're environmentally friendly. You, know, you don't want to use it immediately once you buy the phone. You gotta look at it for a while. Then you gotta buy the accessory that you have <laughs> to have in order to charge the thing. Uh, but it's eco friendly. Yeah, eco friendly. Eco friendly. I mean, Apple products still are like one of the top um, gifts for Christmas, right? So, yeah. yeah, I think they have been for like the past what, like twelve years or something like that. I don't even know. Yeah, they make money, so it's working somehow. Yeah, no. The thing about Apple is like, because like this year I wanted to buy a laptop, and you look at like the XPS thirteen or whatever. But this is before the M one chip. It was like, the, it's everyone says that the XPS thirteen is better. Like yeah, price that's a Dell laptop, right? 
yeah, it's a Dell laptop. But then I look on the reviews and there's like quality control issues or something. Apple's never, like they have this brand where they don't make these quality control issues. Like everything, when you buy it, you expect it to work and it does. Like Samsung uh, had that where the phones exploded. I would say to a point though, right? Like remember that thing where the keyboard just like got jammed up because of the butterfly switch? Okay, well that, yeah. <laughs> but it like, was like it was- really clacky things. So. That's true, but you do. Okay, well the, the first generation people didn't know, but like when you bought it, that's, that's the keyboard you're getting. <laughs> Yeah. It was like you, they sold it to you saying that it was this keyboard. Samsung didn't sell the phone saying it's going to explode. <laughs> that, no one's, right. Samsung's going to never live that down. It's just That's ice. a good marketing pitch. Our <laughs> phones don't explode. <laughs> that would actually get a lot of attention, I think. If Apple was like, iPhone 13, it doesn't explode. Boom. That's the entire oh, That sounds ironic. That sounds like sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> Totally. I'm not even sure if they would like legally be allowed to say that. Like, they'd probably have to put in some sort of like disclaimer that's like it might explode. Because what if they said it's guaranteed not to explode and it did explode? That's like a oh, big legal, legal case. Yeah. So <laughs> the reviewers would just be like, "Today we're gonna unbox the iPhone 13 and try to make it explode." <laughs> <laughs> that's the goal. Well, I mean, I get the lawsuit going. Yes, sir. What do you think that Christmas is going to look like this year? Like Same as Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. Very like, sad. Well, do you think more people are going to go, like, feeling safer after Thanksgiving, or more people are going to uh, stay separate, feeling I more scared of Thanksgiving? I think stay separate, because isn't, isn't it predicted that um, the corona, uh, COVID, COVID positives are going to spike in, like, a couple days because of the Thanksgiving uh, traveling? It's already been rising. Like, yeah. very I know, rising. but like, it's supposed to like actually like it's been rising. But it's supposed to hit in a couple of days. Yeah, because like after it's supposed to only come up like after a week, right? Yeah. So like, or a week oh my God, two. we're above two hundred thousand cases in London. Yeah, no, that's yeah. people are still gonna travel unless they ban it for like Christmas. People are still gonna go. But that's gonna be like so depressing though for people, especially for people who like. Who only have family like in like different states and stuff like that's gonna be that's gonna take a toll on people for halloween i saw this one poor family walking down the street and no one else on the street it was just them walking down all the houses with their lights turned on with like with their lights turned off all the doors locked no one's answering anything they were just walking down the street i felt so bad for them yeah. that's sad i mean at least there's might be a vaccine right there's some of that I'm pretty sure that um we're expected to like not have the vaccine probably until like I think end of January or something and even then not every not everything's gonna be open until like spring. Let's end on a very a uh, good uh, high right? What are you looking forward to in the next month? Next week, uh, or next podcast, it won't be us here. Maybe one of us will be the same. We're all going to switch out. Remember, it's the same people. But we're all wearing masks. It's just like <laughs> masks. Um, we... Like the James Bond movie. Very full skin suits. I've never watched a James Bond movie. Okay, well, we're talking about that after this recording. <laughs> How have you never watched a James Bond movie? It's, it's not very important. You just got to know he. it's a spy. His name is 007. What, seven? <laughs> that wasn't a joke. <laughs> right, no, maybe I should watch James Bond. I was confusing James Bond with Sherlock Holmes until pe- what? I, yeah, I don't know. I just see Sherlock. Them. That's more for it. Maybe maybe it's just your dis uh your your distaste for British acting. <laughs> oh wait. wait so <laughs> Ozzy hates British people. I think that the conclusion for the podcast yeah, no, this is like the podcast. a formal apology to British people. And I'm like crying. And I'm sitting on my couch for some reason. Next up, <laughs> look forward to note it. cards behind me. Okay, so thank you all for watching. And hope to see you around in our British episode people. two. Thank you. Yep, this is, Bye. that's the, goodbye. Bye.